Just when you think it can't be any worse for Disney, something like this happens. These pictures have gone absolutely viral over the last several hours when the Daily Mail ran a story this morning about photos that came from the set of Disney's newest live-action disaster, Snow White. Now, we've known for quite some time, just like we did for Halle Bailey's Little Mermaid, that they made so many decisions solely based on identity politics for this live-action remake, including the casting of Rachel Zegler, who's lit even though Snow White is described as having skin white as snow, literally why she has the name. But nobody really thought that it was going to be this bad. When you look at the pictures that are from the set, take a look. Now, we know now some more information than we knew before, but when people saw these and it started going viral, they thought there's no way this can be real. Like this has to be fake. Look at the seven dwarves. These are the seven dwarves. Only one of them is short. The other ones look like uh, they're dressed in just wild, crazy shit. It looks laughable. It looks stupid. It doesn't look like this is a Disney multi-hundred million dollar production. And so many people have said the videos, the photos, they must just be fake. It can't be real. After a lot of back and forth online, Daily Mail has updated their story. Finally, I've been sitting here waiting for it for a while. They did update the story. And although they do say... That that Disney's updated them, that this is not Rachel Zegler and this is not her co-star, their stand-ins for reshoots, this is indeed the Disney production, at least according to them. And I mentioned this even right after I put out the video I made earlier today. This is my pinned comment. This is an exclusive story by the Daily Mail, but it's hard to believe it's real. The film, the film supposedly already wrapped filming, and the woman playing Snow White looks a little off, so when was this footage obtained? But Disney has set the bar so low, it's tough to give them the benefit of the doubt. And places like Daily Beast hopped on top of this and said, you know, the Snow White picture are fake. The ones that sparked all the conservative backlash, it's fake. We have a source at Disney that's told us it's fake. Daily Mail is saying otherwise. And we did see a lot of other this information going along. Breaking new look at stunt doubles for Snow White in costume during reshoots. Clarification, Rachel and the other actors are not on set for Snow White reshoots as they have left London due to the strike. They were in London for reshoots, but once the actors went on strike, they had to go back. That may be one of the reasons they're using stunt stand-ins for pickup shots and things like this. But take a look. This is now the title of this story. Exclusive Snow White and the Seven Politically Correct Companions. First pictures of new live-action remake of Disney classic shows stand-in princess walking with diverse band of merry men and women after row using dwarf actors. The character of the fictional princess, who will be played by Rachel Zegler, has been pictured for the first time with her new companions, who appear to be a mix of genders, ethnicities, and heights. This, these pictures were just getting roasted all across the internet, but again, the allegation that, well, it can't be real, it doesn't look like Rachel Zegler... All of that reportedly has been cleared up. This actress who, from this angle, looks a little bit like Rachel Zegler, but from the side does not, go all the way down to the bottom here. And we have Daily Mail's update. Um, here it is. This article has been amended since, since initial publication to correctly identify the actress playing Snow White as an extra who stood in for post-production photography. Disney confirmed the stand-ins were used for both Rachel Zegler and Andrew Burnap in these images. We are happy to clarify this point. So they are maintaining that this is still from a Disney production. It's just featuring stand-ins for some of the actors. But in terms of the costuming, in terms of the look, in terms of all these things, apparently this is legitimate. This is legitimately from a Disney production, at least according to these new reports. This is so fucking embarrassing. And... A lot of it didn't quite make sense. Now that we're finding a little more information that it's uh, like some pickup shots and just some maybe establishing shots or whatever, that might make a little more sense because there is a big crew here. There's a big crew for it to just be some gaff or some little thing that people are doing. And when you look at some of this equipment, like this drone is massively expensive. So a lot of it starts to make sense if they're just doing little things here or there. But all these costumes, these outfits, this is all exactly what the, what the, it's actually going to look like when this dog shit comes out. Another Disney race swap disaster. A lot of questions out there surrounding the validity of it, including from the Daily Beast. But according to all this stuff, according to all the updates, this is from the Disney production. It's just not the specific actors.
Maybe if things were different at Disney, maybe people would have given them a little bit more benefit of the doubt, but considering the garbage they've just been shoveling out repeatedly, they've proven time and time again that they don't deserve it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Again, Daily Mail reiterating that this is from the production, but they updated it to say, hey, these characters are not the actors who will play it in the movie. They're on strike, but they are stand-ins for post-production photography. This is the real thing, according to them. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.